Hi everybody, welcome back to another Steam Deck video and in this one we're going to be looking at Microsoft's Game Pass Ultimate, the Xbox Game Pass service on the Steam Deck. And this is the version that you can just install on your Steam Deck um, and uh, it runs from your, your library and it is the streaming service. We don't have to install Windows or anything like that. In the description below this video you'll see the instructions on how to install it and basically what you're doing is you're installing a special version of Microsoft's web browser, Edge, which gives you this. So this is the launcher. So this is actually Microsoft Edge running now, but without any of the different controls showing. And this is the front end to the service. And the way that it works is, it's a bit like Netflix in the fact that when you click on a game, you're not installing it on your local Steam Deck. You're actually connecting to a Microsoft server in the cloud somewhere that's spinning up a version, for example, of Fallout 4, loading your settings in, which is stored in the cloud as well, and that then you can you can start playing. And what I found is I've gone from being someone who's pretty sceptical of this to actually being quite a convert. Really, though, if you're at home on your own home uh, internet Wi-Fi. Because what I found is that if I'm at home and on our Wi-Fi, now here we have, I would say we have below average broadband for the UK, uh, but the latency is, is pretty good. And, and it works fine for that in fact sometimes it worked amazing um, however i have done some testing on a mobile phone hotspot while at work and it didn't work very well at all so let me kind of quickly show you so say we want to play fallout 4 we just click on fallout 4 so it's spinning up a server somewhere with fallout 4 on and then it will load my settings in which are which are saved as well um and there, so here we go, we're going into Fallout 4. I mean, that, that some, some games are really quick, other games aren't quite as quick. So we're in Fallout 4 already now, so we can just continue, confirm. And then if you've got any experience with Fallout 4, you'll know that it tends to take a while to load in anyway. And then uh, that's it, we're in the wasteland. And that game is not installed um, on, on this Steam Deck like that. Now, I just so happen to, I do have Steam Deck. <laughs> I do have Fallout 4 installed on my Steam Deck. Um, but this, this version of it isn't installed. A couple of things to remember, though. This is the console version of uh, the, all these games, um, the Xbox sort of console version, but it does tend to be the version um, that would run on the like the Series X or the Series S. Um, with older games like you know Fallout 4, um, you know, this game hasn't been updated, I don't think, since 2020 or something when they um, brought out the Ultra Texture Packs. Um, but often, you know, they run as good as the PC version. And in fact, there is an argument, I think, I'll have to do some more testing, that, that some of these games run better over Xbox Game Pass game streaming than they do when they're natively um, installed. Now, you, you, you're you kind of limited in the, the different settings that you can control. Because, you know, if you've got a console, you don't you can't control all the, the, um, the different graphical settings with newer games often there'll be an option for do you want performance or do you want um picture quality but as you can see we're zipping along at 60 frames a second it's very very smooth it looks really great can't really see any sort of banding or um, any issues with any of the textures or anything like that so you know it works really well and the controls feel responsive and um yeah very very nice there's uh, dog meat so let's just quit out of this so i can concentrate on talking not playing so it's just quit there so we're back in the launcher now that way so what does this cost well you're looking in the uk at about 12 pound 99 a month and in the us about 16 dollars 99 which i know sounds expensive well it you know is expensive um it can be cheaper if you buy like a year's worth i think and you can often get on the um on the key card sites you can get you know different different gift vouchers that you can buy now, but what you get is, and I've done a little bit of research today, is there are, at the moment anyway, 398 cloud games that you can play, that you have access to. And they all start as quickly as you saw with that Fallout 4. Well, sorry, some take a little bit longer than others, but it's within you know, a minute or two you're, you're playing. Um, and with Xbox, what that generally means is that if they've got a... A first party game coming or an exclusive third party game coming out for xbox that will come out on um, cloud gaming day and date as well so for example when starfield came out um, it was available on cloud gaming straight away however sometimes you'll find with very popular titles that queue to start playing them on cloud gaming can be a bit longer but the idea of it 
was always that not only do you use cloud gaming on something like Steam Deck or a tablet or a phone, but you could also use it on your console or your PC so you could play a game while it was still downloading. So that's quite interesting. So 398 games available on cloud, which is pretty good. And they do come and go. Different games do come and go. Now, the thing to remember, though, with Game Pass Ultimate, it's not just about the cloud. What you're also getting is you're getting the PC version of Game Pass, which gives you access to 447 games at the moment. Now, not different games. It will include lots of these and some, some different ones. Um, and on console as well, you, if you take out Game Pass Ultimate, you get access to 369 games to install on your console. So with Game Pass Ultimate, you get cloud streaming, which has got 398 games. You can have it on your PC if you've got one of game PC and have access to 447 games. And on console, on your Xbox Series X or S, I think, it, and obviously on your Xbox Ones as well, you get 369 games. Now, that also includes on console and PC EA Play as well. So you get, um, you know, Madden and... and NHL hockey and all that sort of stuff as well. So although you might think twelve ninety nine, you know, it's quite expensive. You are getting an awful lot for your money, especially if you take advantage of those other offers. You know, on your on your console if you've got one, or especially on your PC as well with with EA Play. So if you're the type of person who likes to play lots of different games, then this is 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 really good for you. Now another reason why it's great for the Steam Deck is you're not taking up um, space in terms of um, storage, because these are all playing from the cloud. And also, it's not that hard on your processor as well. Um, basically, because the game is actually kind of just playing a video, um, and then you're responding to it, you, you'll find that your, um, your Steam Deck stays, stays pretty cool, and your battery life will be absolutely massive. In fact, let's see if we can jump in and just see... So the so at the moment playing, I've got over seven hours worth of battery life left. So this is what we're going here. Going to we're going into Assassin's Creed Valhalla again, just to kind of show you the startup process. You know how long does it take and what, what does it kind of look look like? You have the same problem with the console games that you have with the PC games on Steam Deck. You know when you install them, you know properly, is things like you do have to play around with the. Um, UI often often to make things bigger, otherwise you you know you can't you can't read them. Um, and again, because this is the console version, there's not always cross progression between PC versions and um, and the console version. So, for example, at the moment on my PC, I've got the Game Pass version of Fallout seventy six um, running, and I've been playing through that. But when I play uh, cloud gaming. Uh, Fallout seventy six on my Steam Deck, um, that is the that is the console version. So the, and there is and uh, Bethesda haven't put cross save in between that, so that doesn't work. Whereas with something, if Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven was on this, which it isn't, but I wouldn't be surprised if it came to it one day. Um, that does have cross progression between console and PC. So so what it's doing now, you know, it's loading various things up. One thing to watch for as well is. With certain games that will have additional purchases in them. So, for example, Flight Simulator, where you can purchase different aeroplanes. You can't really use those those things because they take they would take too long to download and they're too big. I haven't done any definitive testing. I have flown around with um, with the with Microsoft Flight Simulator and it works incredibly well. This is just the beginning of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but I just wanted to kind of show you jumping into the game. Um, so, for example, the Spitfire that I've bought in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I can't kind of fly around with. I, at least I think that at the moment. But I think you agree. I mean, again, this is difficult to show you on a video recorded on a mobile phone. But it looks really, really nice. And, of course, this is the 512 gigabyte OLED model Steam Deck. So the screen is very, very nice indeed. So let's quickly let's have a look at the battery life again, see if we can come up. So we've got just under seven hours left. So it's not stressing, even though that this is a really detailed game, um, you know, AAA sort of thing. It's not stressing the processor. It's not stressing the battery. And you would get a lot of um, time out of this, you know, at home. So you might be saying, so what's the use case scenario? Well, I, I think that really the use case scenario for Game Pass Ultimate uh, streaming on your Steam Deck um, is, is for the sort of person who you like playing lots of different games. Um 
and you want access to them quickly. And for that, it works really well. Um, the final thing I guess I'd like to say about this is that rem when you go to join up, often there'll be a, a, a like a one dollar or a one pound offer where you can check it out for a month, which I think is um, absolutely amazing. So you can just check it against your internet connection. Does it work for you? Kind of thing when you do when you're doing it like that, and that that is brilliant. So there we go. I am now definitely a convert to this. Um, I've done a bit of game streaming um, using uh, GeForce Now. Um, on my PC before I got my gaming PC and that worked pretty well but again it was very dependent on on the internet but I think especially with the new version of the Steam Deck it handles Wi-Fi incredibly well and so the quality often you can't see and I think a big benefit for Xbox actually well Microsoft having Game Pass on the Steam Deck is because the resolution is only 1280 by 800 so the amount of data that has to come down the um, down the pipe to to give you um this sort of uh, display isn't as much as a 1080 1080p or 1440p or a um, or a 4k display that way so i've been very impressed so there we go we talked about what it is what it does what it costs giving you some examples of working and uh, i think it's very very good indeed xbox game pass ultimate um, or xbox i guess it's really microsoft game pass ultimate where you're streaming Xbox games to your Steam Deck. Very, very good. It's relatively easy to do. Remember, the instructions on how to do it are in the description below this video. Okay, what do you think, though? Put your questions and comments down below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.